Well, I, we've been in Ireland for over a week now. We started out in Dublin. The reason for my visit is representing the O'Brien Clan Foundation as chairman of the O'Brien Clan Foundation because we uh, see the celebration of Clan Tor in 2014 as a, a wonderful event for O'Brien's, but for all the clans of Ireland, and also for a, a great opportunity to stimulate the Irish economy, uh, to bring people back to see just the wonderful treasures of Ireland, the treasures that we've, we've seen this past week. So there's a great deal of enslavement, and it came over to measure how the people in Ireland were looking forward to 2014, and if they saw this as, as the event that we saw for the O'Brien Clan Foundation in the United States. And the, in response to that, it's all been very positive. Uh, we've met people involved in, in government, primarily the North and, and also uh, the South government. And we've met with church uh, representatives, Catholic Church, the Anglican Church. We've met with reenactors. We've, we've met an awful lot of people. I can't even begin to list them all. And I guess the, the one word to describe it all is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm towards the uh, Montar of 2014. Enthusiasm for the potential that it has to do, to do great things uh, for the- Good afternoon, I'm Conor O'Brien. I'm the, also the 18th Baron in Chiquin, and I'm the O'Brien Prince of Thurman, I'm Chief of the O'Brien Clan. And I'm delighted to be here today with our Chairman of the Foundation, John O'Brien, and his wife, um, who have come over to help me and help the Clan in set up the plans for 2014, the celebration of Brown Brew's life and death and the Battle of Clontarf. And we've had a very, very busy week, um, extremely busy. We've met an awful lot of people, as John has already mentioned. And I think what has uh, come out of all these meetings is that it is vitally important that we, as the O'Brien clan, should work with not only clans of Ireland, um, and Garod is here with us today to uh, talk a little bit about that, but also to work with the Irish government. And I'm hoping that uh, next week we will have meetings with the Irish government to discuss the uh, possibility of working under their umbrella of the 2013 homecoming, which they've set up. And we hope to persuade them to uh, increase this 2013 celebration into 2014, culminating in uh, the celebrations for the Battle of Clontarf and uh, the death of Brown Baru. And as John has already mentioned, there's an awful lot that's set up. There are an awful lot of other things that uh, he hasn't mentioned, and there, that is that there are people all over Ireland who want to come up to Dublin for that event. There will be O'Briens from Killaloo, which is the birthplace of Brown Baru. There are O'Briens from the Rock of Cashel, where Brown Baru was crowned as King of Munster. Um, who want to follow the march up to uh, Dublin, possibly to the Phoenix Park, uh, and assemble in the Phoenix Park so that on the day of the battle itself um, that uh, they can march to Clontarf and there will be reenactments of the battle and there will be other things going on as well. Good afternoon, I am Garo Kelly. I represent the Clans of Ireland, which is the umbrella organisation which oversees the uh, regulatory aspects of all of the registered Clans of Ireland. We number about 80 Clans at the moment, um, but hopefully through the millennium of, of Clontarf we will uh, increase the number of Clans that are actively involved in their own history and we would also like to see that the membership of the individual clans uh, grows so that uh, the number of people in the O'Brien clan or in my own clan the O'Kellys develops and grows over the years. My um, 
being here today is simply to um, facilitate the uh, O'Brien Foundation um, to meet with John and the O'Brien and to help with the uh, development of the plans and the organization of the Millennium. Um, other than that, I will help with the government uh, liaison over the coming two years as we are uh, a non-governmental organization under the United Nations and as we have as our, our president, the president of Ireland. Feel free. What uh, do you think we should do next? Well, I think the, the next move is what is planned is to, to go up and meet with uh, Tourism Ireland and talk to them about coming under their umbrella during the, the 2013 and extending it into 2014 to cover the Millennium celebrations in Dublin in, in 2014. Perhaps um, they might um, be prepared to help um, with setting up um, a website. Uh, sure. We could set up a separate website. Uh, I think right now it's so important for us to be communication. We in communication with you as the clans, and in communication with government, communication with all these interests that we've met, that we can spread the word and make sure we all identify how we will work together and what we are working together towards. And public relations and press is so important and we can do so much with the internet, but I think that when the news, the global newscasts start to pick this up, uh, CNN, and they, this starts to build, it will it'd be like a, an avalanche. But I, th I think we've got to realize that this is not, this is not just an O'Brien event. No. In our view, and I think in all our view, it's, it's a national right. celebration and should be. It's the most famous date in mm -hmm. Irish history. history. It's the one that children learn at school, right. you know, 10, 14 and mm -hmm. Brian Baru. And you don't have to be in O'Brien to come to this. You That's don't right. even have to have been a member of the Del Cashin clans who fought with Brian Baru. No, absolutely. Well, even every, the Vikings every, are coming, aren't they? Some of the dignitaries from the Netherlands, are, aren't they coming? To yeah, the Vikings will be there, Vikings, absolutely. So. Yeah, we might have they a, a real reenactment. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we will. We'll have a real reenactment. <laughs> but I, I just think that it's very important that, that Ireland takes this on board as a national celebration. Absolutely.